Hello, pretty, pretty. Wow, you're so beautiful. Thank you for coming to my garden. Yeah. I like you. If the kitchen's where you'd rather have your friends and family gather, you should hit the like and subscribe down below. And if filling plates and platters while maintaining flavor matters, then there's a stellar cook that you should know. It's Rain, the planet with a palate. They'll keep you fed and coming back for more. So come on, take up space. Rain will make a tasty plate. And tell the Diet Karens where to go. It's the Planet with a Pallet Cooking Show! All clean. Howdy y'all, welcome back to another episode of Planet with Pallet. Today we are gonna be making something so simple, so delicious. I thought about calling this episode Sweets for My Sweet because, um, well, it's almost Valentine's Day. Um, and while me and my partner actually normally don't celebrate Valentine's Day, we're honestly, well, excuse me. We're honestly so romantic all the time, not to brag, but we are. We're so romantic all the time that Valentine's Day just seems kind of like just another day. Honestly, um, we're talking about a person who we write each other poetry and we read together. We do all these things and, you know, it's important because we are, you know, an ocean away from each other. So we do have to kind of keep the spark going and we've managed to do that very well for three years without celebrating Valentine's Day. But I do know that many of you do love to celebrate Valentine's Day. And these are two treats that are sure to make your honey happy. So I am going to be baking something super simple and delicious. It's my Grammy's recipe for pineapple upside down cake. It uh, starts with a box cake mix, but it is so good, so good. And then I'm gonna be making these chocolates that me and my partner made together last when they were here and we made them, it was so cool, uh, we had a big, one second. Ooh, my butter's bubbling. All right, gotta turn it off. Um, so we had a big uh, brunch with friends for Ostara last year, and we made these yummy chocolates that have rose petals on them and pistachios. They're just so good. And so I wanted to share them with you. Um, my partner is not usually much of a sweet tooth, but they did love the pineapple upside down cake. Um, you know, if they approve of a sweet. And since we are going to be chatting with them today and I'm feeling très romantique, I decided I would wear the dress that I wore out on our first date. Um, a lot of you have asked how I met my partner. So even though this isn't a Q and A, I'll give you guys a little history. Um, our love story isn't so much about how we met, but how we fell in love. So we met in an online community. We had some mutual friends, some mutual friends of ours kind of like, we're like, Hey, you should talk to this person. This person's really cool. And, um, so we met and we were friends online for quite a while, um, probably a couple years, but, um, well, what happened was, <laughs> well, you see what had happened was, I was always very attracted to them, um, but I was married um, in a polyamorous relationship before, and I, um, you know, they live in France, so like, whatever, whatever. They're cute, but like, whatever. But then um, I was going through a really difficult time in my life, and they reached out to me and were like, hey, you know, I know we're just friends online, but if you need to talk to someone, I'm here for you. And I did need to talk to someone and they were, 
here for me. And that was kind of the beginning of where things started to change because I told them some extremely personal information of things that I was um, processing in my life at that time. And they were kind and supportive and um, they opened up to me about some of their history and we really just connected in a way that was like kind of difficult to deny. Um, they said that that's when they knew that the two of us were on a path to sort of some kind of romantic thing. They said, I knew if I was ever going to open up to anyone, it would be you. And I find that very sweet. I didn't know <laughs> at that time. I was still struggling through the end of a marriage that was not going very well for me. And, um, uh, but I still wanted to make things work because as y'all know, I have kids and a family and stuff. So I'm being pretty transparent here, but um, basically we remained friends and they were really there for me um, when I was going through my separation and everything else. And they were just such a supportive and kind friend and at some point I realized I had fallen in love with them and I was very nervous about that at first because I was coming out of a 13 year relationship and not really ready to be vulnerable to someone again and um but there was a day where I was um I'm getting so emotional just because we're getting married soon y'all so like it's kind of a full 180. I, I'm getting married again, but I'm getting married to my soulmate this time. So it's, I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, so basically, um, they were there for me a lot. And there was a day that I was having such a horrible day and I called them and we talked and by the end of the conversation, you know, I'm laughing and I'm, I'm just, feeling so light and so happy and joyful. And I just realized I had this moment of realization of like, this is how I feel at the end of every conversation I have with this person. And I'm kind of a dork. <laughs> like I'm not really that smooth. So I was like, Hey, um, so do you like want to be my partner or something? <laughs> and it was actually really cute the way they said yes. They did this big sigh and they were like, yes, yes. Oh my God. Yes. Like I've been feeling this for a while, but I know you're going through a lot and I didn't want to pressure you. So, um, but yeah, the feeling was mutual. And at first when we started going out, I was a little nervous, like, it's, you know, it was five months after my separation, is it too soon? Am I making a bad choice? But then that first day that we were partners, we were like, okay, so let's talk. And we got on a video chat and we video chatted for seven hours. It was like the connection, was, <laughs> they say it was the loudest click in the universe. It was, we clicked so hard. It was like kind of easier now because we've been very close friends for a while, but like now we're, now we are together. And it kind of like, there were these walls that were built up, I think on both sides a little bit before that point. But once the walls came down, it was just like major connection. And I feel it every time I talk to them still, you know, I can have the worst possible day. And by the end of a conversation with them, I'm having the best time. And even when we've been through some really difficult things, which we have with trying to travel and trying to see each other during COVID and everything else, it's like, we've had an uphill battle <laughs> uh, in our relationship. But even when we're dealing with really difficult things, just something about seeing their face just makes me smile. So um, sorry for gushing for like a ridiculously long time. I'm 99% certain I'm going to have to edit a lot of this because I could literally sit here and talk about my partner all day. But instead of doing that, <laughs> I'm going to cook for y'all and uh, I'm going to let you meet them yourself because I'm very excited about that. I'm excited to introduce you to the person that I'm going to marry. So for now, let's get it. Let's get it together. Let's get it together, Rain. Let's, let's get together and do this cake. So we're gonna start with something very simple. 
just a yellow cake mix. I like the basic yellow cake mix from um, Betty Crocker is normally what I use, but it also depends on what's on sale, you know? Okay, get our cake mix in here. We're gonna mix it up like a regular cake, except that where it calls for one cup of water, that is not what we're gonna put in it. And you will see. So we need three eggs. Let's get these bad boys in here. of oil. Ooh. And then we need a cup of water. So you're going to want to get these canned pineapple slices and 100% pineapple juice. That's the important part. And instead of a cup of water, we, oh, we're almost getting a cup here. You'll get a, almost a cup of the pineapple juice and you can fill the remaining with water. All right, there we go, one cup. And then you're just gonna stir up your cake mix like you normally would. So we'll get a whisk here. All right, so once you've whisked up your cake batter and it's looking real good, we are gonna start assembling what's gonna be our beautiful, amazing cake. I'm so excited about this one. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a bunt pan, that's right. I did tell you it was my grandma's recipe and you know how these people were back in the 60s. Everything was cooked in a bunt pan, so it is, but it turns out so beautiful, like you gotta have the bunt pan. Okay, and then the next thing you're gonna need is an entire stick of melted butter. Now, I did mine on the stove just because I love the way it tastes when it browns. So, we've got some, oops, brown stove butter here. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the, you're basically gonna wanna take and go around your pan like this to make sure all the surfaces are coated with butter. Yeah. Just make sure all the sides of the pan are coated with butter. Okay, next step. I did wash my hands before I started, but I'm gonna wanna wash my hands again. Got a little butter hands. Okay. So the next step is that you're gonna take your pineapple slices and you're gonna put them in and arrange them just like this. Next step, 
maraschino cherries. Oops. One maraschino cherry in the whole of each pineapple. Brown sugar. I'd say you want to use about a half a cup, maybe. Basically, you just want a good coat of the brown sugar on. We're going to take our yummy cake mix, which is infused with all this delicious pineapple juice. And we're gonna pour it right in. There's gonna be a little edge if your pineapple is sticking up, but that's okay because your cake is gonna rise. I'm just gonna clean up that center real quick. Just make it a little easier for myself. And now you're gonna look on the box and you're gonna use the Bud Cake instructions, which say, 350 for 38 to 43 minutes. So I'm gonna want this to cook. I'm gonna put it in, my oven goes kind of slow. I'm gonna put it in for 43 minutes and it should be done by then. Okay. There we go. Okay, now it's out of the oven. We're actually gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes before we try to put it on a plate because we want it to be perfect and beautiful. It was the perfect time of day to put the cake to rest. Um, because this is the time of day where I normally pick up Arthur from the bus stop. Do you want to say hi? Hi! The famous Arthur came home from school. How was your day at school today, Arthur? It was good. Cool. I took a video out here in the garden with a very big butterfly. Do you want to see it? Yes. So one of the things that I'm making in this episode, Arthur, is homemade candy. Ooh, some chocolates. Do you want to help make chocolates? Sure. You know who else is going to be on this episode, are you? Roman. Roman. Yeah, Roman's going to be on a video chat with me in this episode. What do you think of that? Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, we're learning French, right? Yeah. Can you say some things in French? Can you say, I love you? Bonne <laughs> nah. That's not I love you. That's... <laughs> Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Can we say good night? That's what you were saying. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. <laughs> You're so funny. No one has to know. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. It smells divine in here. Ooh, it's so pretty. So the reason I asked you on the show is because I'm always talking about you. And I'm doing the Valentine's episode this week. And even though we don't really do Valentine's Day, you're my romantic person. So it's dedicated to you. No, Bubba. Look what I made. Yeah. 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 And I'm going to make the chocolates that we made together too. 
Mm-hmm. So that'll be yummy. That will be yummy. What should I drink with it? Red wine or sweet, sweet fortified wine is good with chocolate, like kind of like a port wine. Uh, or um, like Spanish fortified wine are good with it too. Uh, That's yummy. Yeah, yeah. Good, well, I'm going to have cake too and a bunch of sweets, so I might just get a big glass of milk. But Very American. Some... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if it's dark chocolate based, like something a little sweet and based on wine works really well. Uh, because usually you do have, well, especially in fortified wine, you do have a lot of like uh, berries and this kind of like breadfruit essence. Uh, also with the sugar that you complement well with like something that is um, not really sweet and uh, a bit uh, bitter but like in a nice way like in dark chocolate uh, when you know uh, bitterness that traps kind of like moisture so drinking something that uh, adds sweet kind of like Cleanse a bit about it and make something good. But yeah, water is good. Milk is good. That sounds yummy. Yeah, yummy. Ah, that's you. Aww. Um. Oh, something funny happened. I got the weirdest comment on my YouTube page, baby. So, um, I posted that we were going to be doing this episode together, and I posted some cute pictures of us. And someone was like, why are you lying? They were pretending to know you and saying like, you only date men and all this kind of stuff. And I was literally like, I'm pretty sure you don't know what you're talking about. I've got the, the tattooed on ring to prove, boop, that this is my person. It was really funny. And I was just like, um, hey, oh, so I Photoshopped these pictures. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah I don't know very invested in my 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 lie yeah <laughs> <laughs> diabolical I've just made up this very cute French person yeah I'm just zeros and ones zeros and ones Arthur would like that I'm <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I was being a big dork, so I wore the dress that I wore on our first date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's on our first date. Aren't we cute? Yeah. Are you cute? This is all, you know, photoshopped. <laughs> we were never in Canada. It's all a lie. Yeah. <laughs> So we had our first meeting in Canada, which everybody, nobody who's watching this knows about our relationship and they're always asking questions. So um, like COVID still had both of our countries shut down, but we were able to travel outside. And so we met up in Canada and it was like amazing three days. Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice. My, Do you have a favorite part of our Canada trip? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, every part was really nice because it was our first time kind of together. So it has been a lot of like first, which was really, really nice. And uh, Ole was nice. Um, but like being able to read together uh, and being like next to each other was really nice. Uh, so many things. To be honest. So my I do have a favorite. It's cheesy, but my favorite part of our Canada trip was when we did some works. <laughs> because I don't think I have ever seen you laugh so hard as when we were with some worrying. And it was just so cute. And I love your laughter because it always just makes me laugh. So oh, oh you sweet. I'm not sweet. I'm just in love. Yeah. 
and sweet. <laughs> We're getting married soon, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. I'm excited. Me too. I love you so much. I love you. I'm so happy you're on this episode with me. And the hotel that I'm looking at for while we're together next, I'm hoping that we'll have a kitchen. Maybe we can actually do an episode together. Yeah, together. that would be nice. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that is what we like to do. Yeah. I love cooking with you. Mm -hmm. So we made the chocolates. We made my favorite thing that we made together was when we made the really pretty focaccia bread. I didn't do anything. I didn't have to make the bread. I just got to do art on top. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> it was so pretty, though. And it was yummy. It was. It was. It was just, uh, like, we were both making, uh, like, batches. And at one time, you were, like, doing these wows that I took, like, a sarcastic wow. And we spent the rest of the time cooking and decorating, doing like those kind of like Carlo um, wow sound. Like, would you like to come say hi? I love you. Hey, Alpha. <laughs> Somebody needed a drink. Can you say uh -huh. hello? Hello. How do we say hello in French? Bonjour. Hey, yeah, good. <laughs> Here. Arthur is going to be helping me with the chocolates later. So he's going to be a chocolatier like we are. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was really funny, though, when I was like, wow. You were like, you thought I was being sarcastic. And I'm like, that's just how I say wow. <laughs> So then we just kept saying it after that. And you I love your squid word. Wow. It's wow. <laughs> cute. <laughs> You're so funny. Nah. I love you so much. I miss you, my baby. I love you, my baby. Thank you for being on my episode. Of course. <laughs> I like showing you off to the world, being like, this is my cute babe. Shooing everybody else away with a broom. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, Arthur. Sorry, what, my baby? Uh, no, I was just saying that I love you. So. I love you too. You know it's just chaos around here once Arthur gets home. I know my bubba. Tornado time. Yeah. <laughs> Fridge opening time, drinking time. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love you so much. This episode's gonna be so fun and I'm so happy you're in it. Nah, well it's <laughs> always fun because you are in it. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ooh. I love you, baby. I, I will you. send you pictures of chocolates when they're done. Yeah. Yummo. Yummo. I wish I could put them for you. I miss you. I know, Papa, but I miss you too. I'm going to see you soon, though. <laughs> Switch that face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Well, you can't very well have a Valentine's Day episode without some flowers. So we have here some red roses. But we are actually, so most people are like, ooh, flowers. And I'm like, ooh, can I eat them? And the answer with roses is yes. They love me. They love me not. They love me. They love me not.
Oh, look at that. They love me. <laughs> I may have skipped some steps. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's perfect. Next up. So these chocolates are super simple. They only have four ingredients. It's gonna be pistachios, rose petals, and sea salt, and dark chocolate. And I have here some Ghirardelli dark chocolate, because that's the kind I like. Oh, King Arthur. Arthur. Are you the king of composting? Yes. Can you compost this for me? Sure. Thanks, buddy. So you can do a double boiler, but I'm gonna do it real, real simple. And I am just going to put this in the microwave. So once our compost king comes back, we will have him go out and put this in the microwave for us. And we will get started making some yummo chocolates. Awesome job, compost king. May I have a high five? High 10. Ooh, well, I don't have a hand right now. Hold on. High 10. High 100. Do we do this 10 times? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I try high 1,000? Oh my gosh. I'll try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how you do a high 1000. That was wow. Okay, can you take this? <laughs> can you take this and put it in the microwave for so one and a half the minutes? this composting part two? Yeah, no, this isn't composting. We're making chocolates now. Chocolates. All right. Check this out, buddy. While they're in the fridge getting all beautified and beautified. chilled. Ooh. These flavors together, y'all. These are some seriously rich and yummy chocolates. The rose petals. Just gives it that hint of floral flavor. Mmm. So these are our yummy. Oh my God. That's delicious. If you make these chocolates for your honey. Mm. They're going to love them. Mmm. So good. Mm. It's so rich, salty, nutty, floral. That's a good chocolate. Mm. Oh my goodness.
here's the part I'm really excited about. This moist, buttery. Delicious cake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Sweet maraschino cherry. Y'all. Yeah. This cake, I make it for everyone's birthday. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Just the butter. The brown sugar. It's super moist. Mmm. A lot of people think they don't like pineapple upside down cake. And I think it's because they're getting that pineapple flavored cake. I don't love artificial fruit flavorings. Why? When you can just replace the water with pineapple juice and then you have the pineapple flavor. Mm. Okay, so I agree with my honey that a wine would have gone really well with these chocolates, especially if I have like a cheese tray with it or something. Mm. But for a cake, you gotta have milk. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The pineapple upside down cake. It always gets the happy dance. Everyone loves it. It was definitely a favorite treat in this house. And I was so happy that my partner loved it when they were here. Cause this is likely the cake they'll be getting every year for their birthday. <laughs> It was just so good. It's so rich. <clears throat> wow. Delicious. Upside down cake, you taste so delicious. Mmm. Mm. That is good. Ooh. 
One slice of that is rich, y'all. Rich. My baby just kept sneaking back to the kitchen. Get more pineapple upside down cake, which is awesome because they don't love sweets. So I was like, yeah. Ha 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 ha. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. I think one of the reasons that we haven't been celebrating Valentine's Day, I mean, we say we adore each other and we shower each other with love every day it's always hearts and flowers with this cutie but I miss them so much on holidays and stuff like holidays that we do actually celebrate you know our birthdays <clears throat> We haven't gotten to spend a Halloween together, which they've never actually like done dressing up for Halloween or trick or treating. That's not like a thing as much in France. So that's something we're really looking forward to. We don't get to spend Christmas together. We haven't spent a single birthday together. So why give ourselves one more holiday to miss one another? Mm. We miss each other all the time. Mm. But for those of you who are spending the holiday with your honeys, and for those of you who are single, you can buy yourself flowers. Miley Cyrus told you to do it. And then I am telling you to take those flowers and make chocolates for your dang self. Mmm. Oh, baby. Ooh. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. I really love having a slice of this cake for breakfast. If I'm being honest, it's a perfect breakfast cake. Mm. Whew. Well, that was rich and decadent. Oh. This is so delicious. I hope y'all get to see have a lovely Valentine's Day. I hope you try out some of these treats. So good. So delicious. You have to let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe. Super awesome spending every Friday night with y'all. I'm so happy you got to meet my person. So happy we got to hang out with my little buddy Arthur. And um, very happy and full of cake and chocolates right now, which is A-OK -okay by me. One last order of business before I go. I do want to give a shout out to the Planeteer of the Week, and this week it is Jocelyn H. You were in the live chat last week. You're always in the live chat. You're always commenting. It's so fun having you in this community enjoying the food and everything else. So shout out to Jocelyn and to all my planeteers. Mm. I hope y'all have a wonderful Valentine's Day, whether you're like me and spending it by yourself, whether you have a partner or do not have a partner. I hope your day is wonderful. 
and I hope you get to try these yummy, yummy treats. Mm. Bye, y'all.